Hello everybody. So today I was able to uh, fix this TV. It's a it's a Vizio uh, M70C3. So what it ha what happened to it was uh, it had no power at all. So there was no light, no nothing. So um, when I bought it, I decided to just look for a new uh, power supply board. So that'll be this board. That'll be the specs there. I hope you guys can see it. Uh, I can see what I'm showing, so. But I hope you guys can see it. So the, what happened is, this board wasn't working at all, but when I look at for other boards that'll be the same uh, model, they were, they were running at like $150. Um, so I'd rather try to repair than to buy another one. So when I look at this capacitor, so you see like there's some capacitors here on over the top and some capacitors here. So what I did was when I look at the capacitors, I could see that some of them were pop it out. Pop it out mean that they are like this. Like usually the capacitors, they're flat on the top. Let's see another one that's flat. So like at this one is actually flat on the top. And some of them were like this. It's a little bit bowed out of, on the top. So that means that the capacitor is bad. Uh, it's very common that like when they're uh, uh, making the specifications, they actually put the voltage that the uh, capacitor is gonna run at very close to the voltage of the specification. So for example, this one is a 16 volt capacitor. I can see anything there because it's actually focusing on me. Um, so the what I did was I got the same a thousand microfarad like a capacitor, but then I got a twenty five volt capacitor. So it just changes this back. So like a right now I replace it this one with the with the one with the new one with a twenty five volt spec. And I actually tested these guys, the, the optocouplers. So you can see that there's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four in all of them. So if you have a multimeter, I don't know my, where mine is. Um, so if you have a multimeter and you measure between, and you, and you have it in a, in a diode a mode, and you try between like one and two, and then you can switch the leads uh, just to see when, when, you're gonna get, when you're gonna get a reading. And then you go over to the next one, and then you're gonna see that they kind of like all match. If one is bad, then, then you kind of see that there's something wrong with them. Uh, the same with these guys. So you can see that there's this guy there, that guy there. They are the same. So um, you can actually measure one and measure the other one just to make sure that they, that they are good. And uh, that's the same with these guys. You can see that there are two guys under this uh, heat sink here. I actually took it out and then I realized that they were good because they are the same as this ones and this ones. So what I did was like, uh, if I measure between the leads there, the measurement was the same between these leads and, the, and those leads. Cause like, uh, I could see that these capacitors were not popped out. So it was a guess and uh, it was a good guess. So by just replacing these seven capacitors, uh, I was able just to, to fix the, the TV. And now it's a working TV. So sometimes you might see one of these TVs in the trash, like in the curb somewhere. The, and if they have no power, maybe with like investment of like some five bucks, you can actually put them back to work. All right, I hope that helps you guys because I couldn't find any video like that when I look at for one to help me. <laughs> All right, thank you. Have a good day.